What's going on here? <clears throat> All right, so I'm out at my uh, normal spot I come to for rabbits and coyotes and all sorts of things. So I'm hoping to get some more rabbits today. I really want at least one jackrabbit. Uh, maybe a few cottontails. I've been doing a lot of a lot of cooking and um, I'd really like to start doing a few like uh, recipes well, right now I'm about out of cottontail um, no shotgun today I brought my uh, brought my 17 HMR this will be the first time I'm hunting with it and I put on I put on a little like a uh, mount on my scope for a uh, where I can attach my phone and yeah, that's what we're gonna try to record with today. Don't know how well that's gonna work. It's really just a just a rubber no hub coupling with the PVC cap that has a phone case screwed into it. Tough part is gonna be a uh, getting set up for shots. Is I can already tell gonna be re real difficult. Um, it takes some time to focus to get your scope on. And then make sure the camera's on. And I'm going to have the GoPro on too, running the whole time. So, but yeah, we'll see. Go try to get at him. Yeah, hopefully there's a lot of rabbits out today because most of the ones I've seen so far have instantly ran. Easy shots with the shotgun, but I'm going to have to set up my rifle and hit record. It takes a bit longer, but I'll keep going. He had stopped right here, but I'm not seeing him. He must have kept going. I can't see him in there at all. Huh.
All right, so I just got into basically the main watering hole for this area where I was really hoping to get some easy shots on rabbits. And uh, right as I walked up, the GoPro turned off. Um, it had been running for about 45 minutes straight. But I did end up seeing two rabbits. Pretty sure I got both of them. Um, they were only about 55 yards. Got them both on camera with my phone through my rifle scope. But uh end up having to lay down. It's I brought my monopod when I really should have brought my bipod. It's a... Uh, it's pretty difficult because the phone is off to one side. So it's not like aiming down your rifle normal. You have to kind of be further back. You have to be looking to the side. You have to keep both eyes open so you can kind of see what's in the camera and then also see where you're pointing. So it's a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. And for some reason I can't use my max zoom. I can only go up to about, what, like, I think seven times zoom. Um, anything past that, for some reason my camera can't focus in and just like, gets real white but yeah two rabbits I ranged it uh, 55 yards I was breathing pretty heavy in the video because it's pretty hot out here I've been sitting here now for about like 10 minutes drinking Gatorade just cooling down but I'm about to put the GoPro back on and we'll walk up there and uh, make sure we got them so I left my backpack and stuff behind because I'm gonna keep Coming right back to the same spot. I'm just bringing my rifle. Rifle and the GoPro. Just in case I see something else. I see I went to Yeah, that first rabbit. I saw him and when I was about to shoot out of the corner of my eye, I saw the other rabbit. So I'm not sure if they were both cottontails or I'm almost certain the first one was a cottontail. The second one may have been the jackrabbit. Looked like he had pretty long ears. But we'll see. Man, more climbing, dude. It is hot today. Been trying to wait for a cool day to come out and hunt a little more, but every time the news says it's gonna be cool, it ends up changing back to hot. So. See, one's this way and one's like straight up. I guess I'll get the high one first. Makes more sense. Oh. So, thought I shot that rabbit right here. I was right there. Well, it's one of these clumps of bushes. I guess I missed that first rabbit. Oh no, he's right here. Okay, I was way off. And yeah, I already see, I already see the next one. And he was a cottontail. All right, I'll turn the camera back on if I see a, another rabbit. But I'm just gonna pick these guys up and walk over to my stuff. All right, so those two rabbits were pretty, uh, their guts were pretty torn up. I'm surprised I didn't, I didn't realize a 17 would do so much damage, so. So anyways, I went down to the water, I'm by the watering hole. I uh, cleaned both of them out real quick. On my way back up though, um, you know, this sand type stuff, just super unsturdy. Took a little slip, not bad for me, but and my phone got ripped off my little camera mount, so that's it for the uh, scope cam footage for today, unfortunately. I mean, that really sucks. I only got two shots, but I'm going to keep filming if I get anything else, but it's just going to be GoPro from here on out. A lot of quail. Look at them all just hanging out right there.
He's like black. What's up? He's like black. What's up with that? This valley back here, I see so many coyotes. Yeah, he's just laying in the shade. Man, if I had my 308, I'd take that shot for sure. He's at 200 yards. Man, I... From what I've read on the 17, that's just a... That's too far. I don't want to risk hurting something. Even though I want to get rid of these coyotes. Man, I literally... I've seen coyotes back here every single time I've come back here. I mean... A week ago I made a video where... My call stopped working. I got a coyote to come in from 500 yards out though. I don't know. See, if I had the scope cam, that'd be kind of cool to actually try to get it within 100 yards. Woo! Woo! I doubt the GoPro picks him up at all. He's pretty far out there. Woo! And he's just laying down, not worried about me at all. Oh! And I figured making these noises, he'd at least get up and run away. He's just out there looking around, like, what's going on? Yeah, he's definitely a smaller coyote. Ow! I mean, honestly, this thing's so accurate, I'm pretty sure I could hit him at 200 yards. I just don't think that would kill him. He's not that big, but... Oh, he's getting up. I mean, this guy was making a straight line for that next ridge and then he just disappeared so kind of makes me wonder if I just sat here if he would pop back up but you can't even see it from here that next uh, that next mountains way way out there and that's where I walked from so this spot is secluded <laughs> it takes me a while to get back here Time to keep going. Man. Hey, that's another one. Easy, easy shotgun shot. You see how slow he ran right in front of me? <laughs> I hope I had the GoPro on for that. Then he popped back out in this bush, but... Jeez. Quail tried to take off and mostly got stuck in there.
What's going on here? I missed twice. Did my scope get knocked off? Alright, so I don't know what just happened there, but I missed the same rabbit probably five times. I was, uh, I don't know if I knocked my scope a bit when I tore off that scope mount, but shooting a few inches high now. So that's unfortunate. Finally, I can't believe that rabbit sat there for five shots though. Yeah, today's just. Uh, I'm honestly, I'm pretty tired. It is hot out here. All right, so uh, it got really hot today. Way, way hotter than I expected. Um, I just now got on self-service and it's just after 10 a.m. and it's already 99 degrees. Hotter than it was supposed to be today. So uh, my GoPro couldn't stay on for more than 15 minutes. It was overheating because there's just no cloud cover at all. It was just direct sunlight. It was, uh, it felt like a lot more than 100 out. But, so yeah, so I just decided, uh, you know, I was sweating a lot. I was getting low on water, so I just decided I'm going to put my stuff away and uh, get back to the car. So, heading home now. Um, I sat in my car for a little bit, and I turned on the AC, and I cooled down, and then I I ended up taking my rifle back out for a few seconds, take a few shots, because I didn't understand why I missed that one rabbit so much. And uh, my rifle was shooting high into the side a bit, which I just sighted in a few days ago. Um, I think when I fell back and ripped off my the phone case from the uh, my like improvised scope cam, I think that knocked off my zero a bit. I'm using really really cheap Amazon rings, so that could be why. I figured why really buy expensive rings for a you know a, a 17 inch Mar doesn't have any kick, but yeah, so I'll have to go recite that now. But, yeah, that's it for today. It'll probably be a little bit before I come back out here again because it was just, it was brutal today. It was not my day. Way, way too hot. Uh, nothing was really moving other than quail. I didn't get to see a coyote that was cool, but I mean, I got to hike like four miles to get back there. And when it's this hot with no clouds and no breeze, it's just brutal. So, yeah, two rabbits, not bad, but better luck next time.